Frame, fork and swing arm sliders are designed to absorb the load from a crash and also to protect your motorcycle's critical components in the event of a slide. But there's more to it than just that. Today's video we'll talk about how to install these parts on your motorcycle and what are some of the benefits you get out of it. We'll also get into details about how you can win some motorcycle parts from Moto Fusion and we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. I'm Ogiev, welcome to the channel. Now we've all been in situations where we've dropped our motorcycles, either at slow speeds or even at a standstill. Mm, yep, I'm guilty of that too. But uh, keep in mind that fork sliders, frame sliders and swing arm sliders are designed to help reduce the amount of damage done to your motorcycle in the event of a crash. The extent of that damage though however depends on a lot of other factors, like the speed that you crashed in, the surface that you crashed on, whether you high-sided, low-sided and a lot of other factors also. Just like your helmets as well, uh, there's no 100% guarantee that you would be safe or your bike would be safe because you've installed frame sliders or because you're wearing a helmet. Again, there's a lot of other factors that could make the damage worse and uh, there's not always a 100% guarantee in these situations. So keep your expectations realistic but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be riding without a helmet. You're not safer without it. Now, frame sliders come with short and long pucks and uh, the shorter pucks are the more popular from the two because if you're riding on the racetrack or on the street at higher speeds and if your motorcycle does slide eventually, uh, a longer puck would eventually dig into the ground and cause your motorcycle to then flip over and cartwheel all over the place. But a shorter puck would allow it to more naturally glide along the surface and come to a standstill. Longer pucks are more popular amongst uh, stunt riders and the reason being that they won't be really performing most of their stunts at high speeds but uh, when they do eventually drop their bikes, they don't want stuff like their handlebars or foot pegs to be damaged. They want to be able to pick up the motorcycle straight away and start performing their stunts all over again. Uh, the longer pucks also provide additional mounting points for them to place their feet and hands and so on and so forth so that they can continue with performing stunts and try different kinds of variations of those stunts also. If you're a chapri, by the way, please don't get any ideas from this video. Shiny pucks are made from chrome steel, aluminium and even four carbon finishes which you'll see on some of these cheaper ones. Uh, those are going to be rigid, they're not going to do much for protecting your motorcycle and they'll probably transfer most of the load from a crash onto the frame of your bike, either causing it to crack or then eventually digging into the ground and causing your motorcycle to cartwheel. It's not a good thing to do. Good quality frame sliders usually have a synthetic polymer puck at the end of them and when they hit the ground, they absorb some of the impact, transferring less of that impact onto the frame of your motorcycle, so the chances of your frame cracking are less. What they also do is they grind down as they slide on pavement, so your motorcycle would slide for a lesser period of time and a lesser distance, and because they're grinding and absorbing the impact, the chances of your motorcycle then flipping reduces automatically. They might not shine as much as uh, the cheaper quality ones, but they do a much more effective job of protecting your motorcycle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a set of frame sliders from Motofusion on my 2015 KTM RC390. I'll also be installing a set of fork sliders to help protect the front braking hardware and the suspension, and finally a radiator guard to protect the cooling system on the motorcycle. But it does more than that, stick around. Motofusion also makes protective parts and tail tidies for a whole bunch of other motorcycles. You can check the link in the description to find parts for the motorcycle that you ride. Installation simple. All you need is a H5, H6 and an H8 drive bit socket or Allen keys of the same size. You will also need a 17mm spanner and optionally some medium strength Loctite. I got this off their official website, links in the description for you to check out. Alright, let's start off at the front with the fork sliders. Remove the stock axle bolts from the forks by using the tools available in your motorcycle's toolkit. Once done, slip the washer and bolt provided in the Motofusion kit into the slider and mount and tighten the bolt. You can use your motorcycle's owner's guide to help with the amount of torque required. Repeat the same procedure for the other fork and keep in mind that you'll have to use a H6 drive bit socket for the left side fork and a H5 drive bit socket for the right side fork. Once you've finished installing these, you've now successfully completed protecting the front forks of your motorcycle. Moving on to the radiator guard now. Considering the amount of debris that gets flung from the front wheel onto the radiator, especially on KTMs, um, there's a high chance that your fins on the radiator are going to get bent. And if that happens, your cooling system would suffer quite a bit. I've made a couple of videos explaining what exactly causes the heating issues on the KTMs and uh, also how to go about resolving them. So if you're a Duke or a RC owner, please do check those videos out. I'll link them at the end of this video. You can check it out afterwards. 
Spoiler alert though, one of the major issues I faced was bent fins and I used the radiator guard to kind of solve that problem. The radiator guard is made of aluminium that is anodized and not just powder coated and the bolts are made from stainless steel, making the entire setup look premium, feel sturdy and will also be durable. As part of their kit, Motofusion also provides a foam strip that sticks to the back of the radiator guard and prevents the otherwise noisy vibration sound that you'll hear while riding. The radiator also allows more air to flow through it than the stock plastic radiator guard, making sure that your cooling system works effectively. Now to install the radiator guard, I'd recommend personally removing the side fairing on the KTM RC390 so that you have a clear view of the area you'll be working on. Installation involves removing the four bolts and six expanding rivets that hold the stock radiator guard in place and then using the stock spacers and Motofusion's bolts to mount the new radiator guard. Once you're done with installing the radiator guard, your motorcycle's cooling system should work a lot more effectively because there's now more air flowing through and your fins aren't going to get as damaged as they previously were. Finally, moving on to the installation of the frame sliders. Now, before you touch the motorcycle with the frame sliders, make sure that the puck is firstly connected to the mounting plate. It makes your job a lot easier. Slide the M10 bolt through the washer and then pass it through the puck spacer and the bracket. Pass it through the nylock nut and tighten the assembly. Once you're done with both pucks and plates, remove the side fairings on your motorcycle if you haven't already done so and place one set of small clamps around the trellis frame of the motorcycle. Use two of the 35mm M6 bolts provided, an H5 drive bit socket and some thread locker to secure the clamps to the mounting bracket and similarly mount a set of larger clamps using the 40mm M6 bolts provided to secure the mounting bracket to the frame. Repeat the same steps on the other side of your motorcycle to complete the frame slider installation. Finally, put the fairing back onto your motorcycle, bolt on everything required and drop your motorcycle once to see if your frame sliders are now working effectively or not. No, I'm just kidding, it, that last step was not required. Uh, just like your helmets and your riding gear, the best safety gear is the stuff that you don't have to personally test yourself, keep that in mind. In the next video from the series, we'll be talking about swing arm spools, swing arm sliders and tail tidies. What are their benefits and how do you go about installing them? We'll also be giving away motorcycle parts from Motofusion to 5 lucky winners and we'll announce details of that context in the next video. Contest in the next video. I said context. Contest in the next video. If you want to get a head start on the competition, head over to their Instagram and Facebook page and follow them on both platforms. While you're at it, have a look at their website as well to check out some of the products that they have for your motorcycle too. The contest will start soon and you'll need to tag three of your friends in the comments on their posts to make sure that you're eligible. So go ahead and follow them. The links are the first ones in the description of this video. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I'm no expert, but I'm guessing that you liked what you saw and it kept you intrigued. So show the channel some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that bell icon as well. It makes a funny noise, try it out. As always guys, at least wear your helmets while riding your motorcycles and try and get some protection for your motorcycle as well. Ride safe, it's a freaking jungle out there. Goodbye. Never pass with a great bag. Came up, you can't hate that. Self made, you can't take that. Yeah, self made, you can't make that. Some said I need a record deal, I need a co sign, I need a Dre track. But all the time I had a mean flow, I had a cold grind, and that's a great match. Payback, codes, and I make racks. In my pockets, gonna stay fat, cause I murk beats and I slay.